be to you dear brothers and sisters when i say peace be to you you may be wondering am i really experiencing peace during this time is peace really felt in my life there has been so many things happening in this year we had the covid-19 pandemic which has changed everything that we hoped for to a big extent many of us may have lost our jobs economic downturn we may be unstable in our career some of us may even have lost a loved one some of us may be distant from our family members peace doesn't seem to be there regardless what we are going through in our life at this moment of time it is during this moment of time where peace is expected from god and it is during this kind of circumstances we hear the prophet isaiah bringing the word of god telling us do not be afraid i am holding you with your right hand yes brothers and sisters our lord jesus christ is here to hold us with our right hand and he is telling us do not be afraid can we be not afraid can we go on with life without worrying but exactly that is what a peaceful situation will lead us to but in order to experience this kind of peace which comes from god himself we need to have complete trust in him trust in him on his own promises trust in him when he says do not be afraid trust in him when he says that he will hold us by our right hand and walk with us regardless of what we are going through in our life during this second week of advent we are called to reflect upon the peace which comes from christ and this peace which comes from christ comes when we completely trust in him now do we trust in this jesus christ do we trust in our lord and god now i would like to share with you a story there was once a circus which took place in a town in this circus there was this person who was showing his stunt by riding a bicycle on a tight wire when he rode the bicycle on the tight wire everyone clapped at him then he stopped his bicycle he took a pole and he was holding the pole and started riding the bicycle again and he didn't fall people applauded again louder the third time he blindfolded himself held the pole and rode the bicycle again and this time people gave him a standing ovation then he stopped then he said i invite now anyone who trusts in me that i will not let you down to take the back seat in my bicycle and ride this with me and you know what happened the next moment when he took off his blindfold and he saw there was nobody there in the circus nobody trusted him apparently sometimes our faith is like that we get scared over the things which are happening around us we are afraid that our lord our god is going to let go of us and we will die brothers and sisters no harm can come to us even death cannot harm us true peace is not meant to be realized only in things around us which happen in this world true peace comes from inside true peace comes when we have a good relationship with god and true peace comes when we make peace with one another in the gospel jesus christ tells that this time of peace has come when he talks about john the baptist he says now john the baptist is a great prophet he affirms that he is a great prophet because he is like the other prophets being tormented and tortured by the romans of the time and not only because of that he is called to be the elijah who was to come because he did not announce a promise but he actually announced the fulfillment of the promise which is already here in jesus christ yes brothers and sisters do we trust in jesus christ who is immanuel god with us at this moment of time god with us in our lives god with us in our souls god with us in our communities when we trust in this what will happen is this trust will take away all fears 
regardless of what is going on around us in our life, then we will have inner peace. What will happen is when we trust in this Jesus Christ, we will follow his commandments and repent from our sins. And when that happens, we will have peace with God. And when we start sharing Christ with each other, when we do acts of love and charity, we basically become peacemakers. So brothers and sisters, Emmanuel, God with us, has brought peace into our lives. Peace be with you and do not be afraid. Thank you and God bless you.